there's our lovely installation. Okay, next thing is we need to get the steering wheel off. Which has a couple of parts. First, we need to take out center of wooden puck that goes in the steering wheel. And now, we need to get in here, and we're going to loosen this nut all the way to back out here, and we're going to use a hammer to get this out, believe it or not, so let's check it out. Hey, okay. I found this tip online about uh, getting this off. And I haven't actually tried it yet, so this isn't one of those uh, things that I I know it works. I have had this loosened, but then the, the wheel is just like stuck on there. So, read right about technique. What you do is you take, take the nut and you back it far enough off so that it's actually proud of the center stem here. Okay. Then, so then we pull, use my body. So by using my body weight as kind of a fulcrum against there, I'm able to essentially pound the stem out of the steering wheel. So if you're uh, out there and like me, you were struggling over a way to get your steering wheel off, that's the way to do it. So now I need to, need to pull up the old wheel steering system. So this is the old autopilot that used the belt and unfortunately could not hold a course for us. So we'll get some nut drivers or something and we'll get these off. Okay, so now following the instructions for a, a six spoke wheel, we will do here and here. Here. drill these these holes out so all right let's get it done
Okay, so I have located from the, as best I could, the center of the steering pedestal to where the uh, steering, the body of the motor will go in. I'm drilling a slightly smaller hole here because I want to be able to fudge it just a little bit. And I can do that by using uh, two, two of these. Here we go. Okay, punching holes in our boat, so that's good. Okay, well, you got my steering wheel. Let's take a look and see how, we'll see how we did here. saws work. If you cut too small a hole with one, it can, it can be very difficult to cut one that is the next size up. That's not the way the hole saws really work. But if you stack your hole saws like this, so I put the larger one on first, and I screw it on, and then I screw my smaller one on second, it gives you enough you can hold the center of it with the interior one to uh, to make it work. Of course, I need to kind of. 